maybe on what the challenge of going on the road this week? Well, it's a very big challenge. Uh, it's the biggest game because it's the next, like we always say. Um, you know, it's hard to win on the road, regardless of who you're playing. It doesn't matter who you play. It's always going to be hard to win on the road. Avion, hey, would you guys say you kind of thrive, though, on the road, kind of backs against the wall, but maybe counting you out? Yeah, you know, going on the road is always hard to win, but, you know, coach always tells us you can't. No matter what the team is, no matter who it is, you always got to play hard. You got to grind it out. Jake, how important was it for you all to get that win Saturday so you go into the road trip with a little bit of a middle? Uh, that was a big win, uh, especially everybody. Everybody played pretty well and got involved uh, last game. So I think we got a we got a good two challenges uh, this week, and uh, we got to face everybody like the, like everybody's the same. So, Jake, what has this stretch been like for you? Shots haven't been falling. You had to deal with concussion for the last month. What, what's it been like for you, kind of dealing with some adversity? Uh, I mean, it's been tough at times, but like late last game, I got back in a little bit of a rhythm. And Monte was sick a little bit, so I got to play a little more than usual. But it, it was good to get some get some more shots up, so I'll be ready to come off the be ready to come back off the bench next game. When that, when that bank shot went, was that when you knew like, all right? Yeah, that's when I that's when I knew I was going to be hitting because that, that was just a little lucky yeah, shot. I knew that too. <laughs> I think Monte told us that he told you that he was going to be mad at you if you didn't take at least two shots. Yeah, yeah, he did tell me that. <laughs> How, how much of your teammates really had kept their confidence in you, kept encouraging you? Yeah, nobody nobody really said there was a difference in me starting or him starting. We, we all just played, played like we usually do, and we just came out and got the W. Jake, I want to ask Tay this in a moment, but especially after having to guard Elmore, I'm convinced Tay doesn't get tired. Plays the whole game. <laughs> Does he get that's, that's what I that's what I was thinking a little bit in the summer. We were doing runs, sprints, and stuff, and everybody's hanging on the wall, and he's just standing up on the line still. So just standing there, and I'm about to die over here. But yeah, I think I think he never gets tired really. Playing tired is it, hard. I mean, it's it's hard enough to play, but just you're his teammate. How? Does he get better when, when, when he's later in the game because of this condition? Yeah, I, I think that helps a lot too. Plus, he he's been guarding the best players on the, on the other team, so that's really that's that's the main focus on for us defensively. We got to shut down the head. We got to cut off the head of the snake, and that's what he's been doing all year. And that's helped us. That's helped us offensively and defense, defensively. And we're just going to keep winning games if he keeps doing that. Taylor, I'll ask you: Do you feel like you can't control a lot of facets of a game, but you can control the conditioning you're in. Is that the approach that you take in, in being in great shape? That's something you can control? Uh, I mean, I don't really think about it. You know, like, at one point, like, it's just if coach need me to do something, then I'll do it. If my team need me to do something, I'll do it. Like, I, I just, in my head, like, I can't get tired. Like, that's all I'm thinking. Like, I can't. Like, I have to guard this man or I have to do this. Like. It's just I never think about it. I can tell you think it's all mental. Yeah. Tell you, coach was talking about earlier about how how much of a difference it makes you know just hit like five threes instead of just hitting like one or two or three as guards. I mean, kind of do y'all have a goal like if you hit a certain number of threes a game that or you know do a certain number of things that's going to make things easier just because of how well you all how how good you all are inside. Uh, actually, we have like our own little goal set on a piece of paper, and we track it every game. And like, it just like we have a defense goal, we have offense goals, and if like we don't meet the goals, then we have to run for something. If we don't, then you know we just get that. But like, yeah, we have that. Our percentage, we don't have the track of how many we make, but um, we have a percentage, and we have to be over. What is it like? I don't know exactly our percentage, yeah. but <laughs> like it has to be over a certain amount yeah. for us to pass it, though. How much is you know, when you hit just a few shots from the outside? How much does that really open things up for Dwight and Justin, or for you, know, you guys driving to the basket? Yeah, it really helps our biz because you know our man will stop digging so they can go to work down there. Anything else for these two? Say just in, in, in general, uh, we're, we're about halfway through the conference season and. You're not secret. You're, as a team, you guys aren't secret anymore. And so, I'm not asking you about specific players on, on UTEP or UTSA. But do you feel like now that that the opposing teams you're going to get their best shot, no mm -hmm. matter what the rest of the season, because of the way you played? 
Yeah, uh, I feel like now, like ever since Bahamas or wherever, we've been doing good. I feel like every team we play is out to get us. So uh, if we come with a mindset like, oh, like we have to be ready, like we can't slack at all, like how we come out sluggish sometimes, uh, we can't do that. At this point of the season, we can't do that anymore. We got to come out for 40 minutes and play the entire game. Anything else?